on this problem, we have the summation of seven terms, starting at one, and we have the, we have the rule 64 times uh, negative 1 half raised to the i minus 1. So remember, when we're dealing with geometric series, um, we had a summation formula for a finite sum. Right? So your finite sum was s of n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. This was for a geometric finite series. So now we look at what we have, and we determine we want to find the partial sum of 7, correct? Because we had there's find the geometric sequence. Yeah, so we want to find our partial sum. So we have s of 7 equals our first term. So let's determine what happens when we plug when we plug our first term. Our first term is i equals 1, right? So you could say 64 times negative 1 half times 1 minus 1. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0. So you'd have 64 to the negative 1 half raised to the 0. That equals 1. So you could say a sub 1 is just 64, right? Because when you put a 1 in for the i, that ends up giving you just 64. Then. If it was, no. Like, why would if it's, if it's zero? Like, isn't it usually one if it stays the same? Like the. Um, Anything raised to the zero power equals one. Any number raised to the but, zero but power. If it's raised to the first power, it's one too. No, if it's raised to the first power, then it'd be itself. So negative one half raised to the first power is negative one half, but it's not raised to the first power. It's raised to the zero power. Well, nothing changed. That's the first term. It's just 64. Oh, OK. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could have just said, hey, yeah, it's the first term, 64. Okay. Because in the formula, you also know the formula is this. a sub 1 times r to the um, you know, n minus 1. Well, we know a sub 1's right there anyways, right? If you just use the geometric formula, you could just say a sub 1's right there. I was just showing you why and to confirm that's our a sub 1. Yeah. Yeah, a sub 1, it's pretty obvious that's your 64. But you should always just go and check it just to make sure there's nothing else um, crazy going on. Then you guys can also determine from our formula, for right, remember this is like the geometric formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. right? We know that r is going to be negative 1 half. So 1 minus negative 1 half. And then we're going to raise that to the seventh power. all over 1 minus negative 1 half. Now, I will need a calculator to factor on this. Now, I'll give me that. Here's that one. Thank you. OK. So now we just simply are just going to simplify. So we have 64 times, and then we'll just do negative 1 divided by 2 raised to the seventh. So we have. And then 1 minus, second answer. So on top, we have 1.0078. Yeah, I'll do 125. And then 1 minus 1 half is going to be uh, 3 halves, or you could say uh, 1.5. So therefore, now I'll just take that, divide by 1.5 and then multiply that by 64. And therefore, we get s of 7 is 43. Yes? No? Do you understand the thing? It's just going to take some calculator and work and go through. But then, yeah, that's what you get. OK.